The other day I posted on the community tab a date, a time, and a link to a Zoom call. I have just finished that Zoom call, and what you're about to see is a load of magicians coming together to collectively fry each other's minds. It's a beautiful thing. I genuinely did not expect anyone to join. I thought I'd get like three or four people, and I had 16 people, magicians, viewers of this channel, join the call and show their own tricks. And I got a chance to show my trick at the end, so stick around for that. But what you're about to see is a load of people basically fooling the hell out of me. It was a lot of fun, so here we go. How are we all? Are we all doing good? Uh, we'll do like one trick per person just because there's so many. Uh, so we'll start with Gabriel, sorry the pressure's on. If you don't want to show a trick, that's completely fine. You I'm really bad at this. It's called, I think it's Alchemist by Ben something. Oh yeah, really. yeah, yeah. It's a really hard coin vanish. Damn. Oh my Ooh. god. Oh. Whoa. Oh. That was so good. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Who is clean? I've got a ring here. Yeah. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. And I'm just going to try and just... Oh, that's pretty off. clean. Whoa. Mm. Nice. Uh, so this is what you can do is like a bar bet, and you can win lots of money out of it. So you say, I bet you can't get this coin through the hole punch oh, without right. tearing the card. Okay. And like, they give it to them and they can't, but, but, right? Um, what you do is you go, watch me just take the card, like that. Oh god, right. And you can actually, oh. and put the coin through the hole. And it goes back like that. Next is Chasing the Illusion 52, who oh, is hello. looking very suave, is that oh, the right word? It. I'm going to say suave. You. You. Thank you. So, um, if everyone can just um, pick up an object around you, any object around you, reasonably small. Um, so basically, put, um, put it behind your back, whichever one you want. And um, yeah, choose whatever hand you want to put it in. Um, now, what I want you to do is I want you to think of somebody who uh, means something special to you. Anybody you want, don't say it out loud. Just someone who thinks it's someone special to you. And I want you to spell out their name and for each letter of their name, change hands. Lovely. Once you've done that, I want you to think of any number. Keep it small so it's quick. Change, change hands again, change, change hands again. Yeah. For each number? However many times that is. Yeah, for that number, yeah. So if you've, has everyone done it? Has everyone done it? Yeah. yeah. Lovely, okay. So if it's in your right hand, spell out right. If it's in your left hand, spell out left. So L-E-F-T or right, R-I-G-H-D. Lovely, has everyone done it? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Now I bet you, everyone, that it's in your left hand. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I like things like that. Yeah, I'm going to be using the deck you gave me. Oh wow. Well, so to. name any card. Uh, we'll go with the four of diamonds. I'm gonna try to position it where I think you will stop. So, okay. so I just stop say, I say stop whenever. Yes. Blimey, this looks very fair. Um, start now. Right now? Yeah. Okay, so I put the rest of the cards away. Yeah. And the card that you stopped. Oh, that's four smart. Diamonds. That's so smart. Wow. Wait, I actually just started magic like six months ago, so like six months. Oh, wow. So I'm like, I'm not that good. So like, if I flash, don't go like. You know. We we will not hate you if you flash. Don't worry. Four random cards. Can you just have a glance of it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, my hands are so shaky. Yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> don't be nervous. Deal them. It's fine. <laughs> that. I'm gonna deal with them like that, but. They actually change change to the jacks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look, I'll show you the mechanics. Look, I think I kind of flashed, but oh, look, if I deal them, they actually disappear, <laughs> and they turn, okay. and then the jacks remain just like that. So that's how I did the trick. But if you practice a little bit more, I could grab those cards from thin air just like that. I tell you what, someone that's been doing magic like uh, six months, did you say? That's incredible. Like, so Thanks good. Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, no, I was, man, that's I was so nervous. Uh, someone just, uh, oops, no, just name a card. Or Kevin. Uh, I'll let someone else name a heart, uh, name a card, even. All right, uh, who wants it? Eight of hearts, Eight? I think has been said, yeah. And can someone name a number one to 20? 12. 12? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, tr I'll try to do this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the twelfth. Wait, what? Hold on a of second. Nah, how do you do that? Okay, I think I know what you're doing, but very, very, it was a little. very well done. Very well done. Yeah. So, yeah, I have a, a five of hearts into the deck, and then we'll just cast my hand on it, and it changes wow. into... Whoa! Oh, okay, who who else was fooled by that? Yo, <laughs> I I didn't. Yeah. I have no you idea. Me, how you got me well done. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I'm not alone because that was really fooling. Here, Kevin, I'm gonna ripple through the cards just like this. Will you say stop for me at any point? Yeah, stop. Right there. Yeah. All right, that's perfect. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit hard for me not to see the card, but we'll try. Right, I'll look away. Everyone got that. I'm going to try and find your card, but we need two sandwich cards that are going to sandwich it. So say the King of Hearts and the King of Diamonds. Um, where is the King of Diamonds? Oh, yeah, I lost the King of Diamonds. Sorry. All right. I don't know the King of Diamonds. I'm going to see two others. All right. Uh, here we go. The Eight of Clubs and the Eight of Spades. Perfect. We're going to use the Eight of Clubs and the Eight of Spades to find your card. Watch. The moment we waved over the card, one card pops out from in between. And for the first time, Kevin, what was your card? Uh, the card was the Eight of Clubs. Oh, uh, well, why didn't you tell me that before? If you did, I could have fixed it. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. So good. I didn't... Nice. Wait, how do you That's do that? Really such a nice routine. Oh, I love things like that. So we have the blue deck. Um, so, Kevin, what I want you to do, um, can you name a number for me that's not too, uh, not too big, but not too small, like between 10 and 20? Between 10 and 20. Uh, let's go 12. 12, okay. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we stopped right here. I don't know if you can see the seven of diamonds. I'm gonna lay it right here. I had my prediction right here. Um, I'm gonna move the poker chip. Wouldn't it be cool if it was the seven of diamonds? But That's great. I did say earlier that it was the exact same, like exactly the same. So to be exactly the same, they both have to be in reality, you didn't have a choice at all because the whole deck was blank. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. What? Whoa. What? <laughs> that was great. Get out of here. That's what? amazing. Thank you. <laughs> this is like the trick that made me uh, have some subscribers on YouTube. Like one of the first videos I did was linking oh. polos. So has anyone been subscribed that long? Probably not. It was like four years ago. These are like ordinary polos. If you were here, I mean... They're just from the packet. If you were here, you genuinely could examine them. Probably not the best thing to do over Zoom, is it? Because you can't examine them. Um, <laughs> but there is nothing in my mouth either. A bit disgusting, but there isn't. So here we go. Right, hopefully this works. <laughs> um, nothing in my hands, yeah? What? Okay, I think, I think I've got it. There we go. Damn. Wow. Nothing in my mouth. Is that and an original? Like, is it the I, um? Yeah, this is a pretty. This is a pretty original trick. I've been doing this for a long time. Like the, the only reason I really buy polos is to do. That it. was so good. Yeah, it's great. Oh my I god. Can't there move. we go. I, I don't want to inspect the polos now, though. No. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. I could, like, I could like wipe them off, but yeah, not <laughs> how many people really want to. There we go. So there we have it, that was a Zoom call full of magicians, sharing tricks, sharing methods and advice. It was a really, really good experience and something that I definitely want to do again. So if you want to be part of the next one, then keep your eyes on the community tab because I might drop another link where we can do this again and you might fool me. I'm also thinking of doing live tutorials and lectures for the $5 club. So if you're not a member of the $5 club, it is literally just $5. You get access to a ton of magic. There's currently, I think, 
37 different magic items on there, so tricks from me that I don't teach on YouTube. 37 of them, all for $5, and I'm going to be doing those Zoom calls as well, so you can head over to patreon.com forward slash cavernbooth, and that is where the $5 club is. I really hope you enjoyed this video, I know it's something a little bit different, but if you did enjoy it, make sure to click the thumbs up button down below, and you can also subscribe to the channel if you've never seen a video from me before. Thank you for all the support recently, really does mean a lot, and I will see you in the next video. I think you're gonna have to be careful. We're gonna have to go first.